Hey guys, how you doing? Thanks so much for stopping by my channel, The Sacred Alchemist 1111. I'm your host, Andrew de Lorraine, and guys, I'm here to conduct your energy reading for the evening time. This is going to be for June 24th, 2020, but this is the time of when I am actually up loading this or doing this reading for you guys thanks so much for the new subscribers to the channel thanks guys i appreciate it very much and um, don't forget to if you haven't subscribed already to please click on the notification bell below the screen so that you can be informed by email once i've actually uploaded new content for you guys now without further ado let's get stuck into your reading Please note that this is general, non-gender specific. It's not really about um, the star sign, but it is about the energy, okay? So first up, we're going to be starting off with the cartomancy. What's going on with you darlings today? For the collective, this is an energy evening reading for you guys. Mm. I'm feeling a sense of determination, this energy of confidence is, is is very prominent, which is excellent, okay? That's good to have. So we've got 33, card 33. There's um, some kind of unlocking doors. This card came up before. Unlocking doors to new um, opportunities that's coming your way, Um I'm hearing you need to be careful of the key that you're given. If you are moving into a new property or if you have a new job that you are, um, you know, for where you are responsible for a set of keys, guys, please be careful with it. OK, um, that's quite strong in this this energy reading before I've done anything else. Be careful with this key. Don't lose it. OK, um, but in other terms it basically means that you've got some like really good opportunities coming your way you're unlocking your potential as well um but also unlocking secrets as well very very interesting very interesting guys so my cards have scattered about the place um i just want to pull another card for you So you're going to soar higher, basically. It's going to elevate you. You're going to feel great expansion, okay? Look out for your Jupiter sign um, in particular with regards to expansion because that's the growth. Um, anything to do with luck, um, you know, manifesting, definitely check out your Jupiter sign. Um, and, you know, but really any of the readings that I do, um, unless I specify the star sign, then um, you can always look it up and just resonate with it or, or not, all right? So let's pull for the cards, the playing cards. So we do have the Joker card, which to me is the full card, and it represents risks. Um, so I'm hearing risky business, but the, you, you're taking a risk to open up the doors to new possibilities. OK, so this is really, really quite good. It's very action oriented as well. And it's all to do with the diamonds as well. So this is seriously about some manifesting for some material gain. Um, and it's, it's just really heading in the right direction. I'm also seeing 333, guys. Card 33. Okay, card 33, and then you've got one and two is three. So this is three, three, three. So this is definitely to do with some kind of spiritual awakening, abundance, like there's no tomorrow, and also really being in alignment with your spirit guides. The next card I've got for card number 12 of the birds, because this is freedom. You're looking for financial freedom. Definitely, you're putting an end into all the disappointments, which is excellent because this is really showing me, guys, that with the 10 of spades, you're putting the past behind you with regards to all of these betrayals. I feel that you've got about 10 people around you because of the Ten of Swords is to me speaking of something that is, I'm hearing lies. And I'm hearing that Fleetwood Mac song, tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. So there's something very petty as well. Little lies, little liars, really stupid, petty energy. OK, so we're going to look at the wisdom of the oracle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these 
these 10 people are just assholes, basically. They thought they would have blocked your freedom, but you, you've managed to escape. You've managed to escape and you've got serendipity. You've got luck on your side. This is what is blowing them away. You've got luck on your side where these ten of swords were trying to get at you and probably eight of swords as well to make you confused out of the ten so you could have been in the eight of swords energy. Okay, so two and eight is ten. You were saved by Lady Luck. You were saved by Lady Luck. They came, they, they came through for you. Two more cards that has fallen down and I've got to take them. The next card we've got is Building Blocks. And you've got message in a bottle. Now I won't take too I won't fuss too much about this message in a bottle. I don't worry about it too much. Um, this is coming from somebody who thinks that they've still got something going on with you, but you moved on. Um it's from your past. But you're putting away you're put you I do feel that you were kind of looking out for this person, this energy. I'm feeling that you were kind of looking out for them. Um, to a certain extent, but you're no longer watching, you're no longer using your telescope to see, what, sorry guys, I, you know, you're no longer using your telescope to see what's actually going on anymore, you've put that away, you're more focusing on what you've got going on with regards to the love that you've been giving, the love that has scattered away from you, um, and you're all about building blocks, endings and new beginnings, darlings, all right, so with the tarot, let's see what we've got going on. Let's go with the tarot. We're using the light seers tarot for this. Please note, guys, that this is really about what is going to be working for you in the long run. Okay, this isn't about anything else to do with. Um, I don't feel that this is really about you being influenced by anybody else. Um, this is definitely coming from you. We've got the star. You've been manifesting like crazy, and you've got full of hopes and dreams. Um, and a real sense of self-belief that it's going to work in your favour. Now, it's very funny how there's a light that is flashing in here, okay? Obviously, the light from the flash. But what I see going on here is a, a fusion of energy. As, just as I've looked at it, it, there's a fusion of energy going around. So there's some form of cosmological alliance, uh, sorry, alignment that's going to be taking place, okay? Um, the star card. I feel it's like counting on your lucky star, looking out for your lucky star, okay? Um, I'm hearing... Hold on, guys. I'm hearing star sign energy. I'm hearing star sign energy. Now, at the end of the day, you can't see the stars during the day. You can only see them at night. So to me, this feels like moon sign energy as well. And obviously, with this... So this energy here, I mean, sorry, um, with the the light that's shining, it looks like a moon, full moon energy. So guys, please do some form of ritual or some kind of manifesting around the full moon so that you can be in alignment with your vibes, okay? If your intentions, they need to be really good. And I'm hearing that you're kind of holding on. You've got the death card. So this is really about, as I said to you, this is about the endings and new beginnings that you're going to be bringing forth. You are going to be reborn into something much more beautiful and better for you. Remember about the eight of swords? The eight of swords is no more. Okay, it's in reverse. So basically, this is meaning that, guys, nothing can't hold you back. You've got serendipity on your side. So nothing can't hold you back. Nothing cannot hold you down. It will try to. But you see what's going on here. And the way I had this card landed, actually, on the Ten of um, Swords, this is an indication that you're blocking people off. And also, you've got protection around. You've got protective energy around you. Um, I see that you're focusing on your solar plexus and your um, heart chakra area. Things that you're going to be looking for, the pleasures of life as well. So this is amazing energy. Um Pay, I'm hearing pay attention to your root chakra as well. Oh, the solar plexus. All right, I'll tell you what, you see this, this, to me this is as above, so below. So you've got your root chakra there and you've got your heart chakra above, okay? Um, as above, so below. Please do take care in alignment with the, I keep saying alliance. I keep saying alliance, it's alignment. You need to be in alliance with your soul self, your higher self. Your soul guides are there to protect you. 
okay? As above, so below. Root chakra to stay grounded and the heart chakra, in, in other words, to open up and receive love. If you notice with the star card, with this particular card, um, you've got what looks like a UFO. There's something that kind of like reminds me of some kind of UFO. So there seems to be some kind of either Palladian or um, some kind of star seed energy um, that's trying to sort of like they're, they're giving you guidance. So you may want to kind of look um, for those kind of meditations, do with any kind of Palladian um, channeling messages as well. There are readers on YouTube, guys, that do channels um, channeled messages on behalf of the Palladians and um, Syrian star seeds as well. Please do check those out at any given time. Um, it's the day of when you actually receive the message. That could be when it's meant to be for you to listen to. All right. The next couple of cards I've got. So you're all about really delving into your spirituality. You're looking for financial freedom. You're looking, you're looking for a lot of growth and you've got the beautiful hanged man as well you are going to be able to see things from a much more higher soulful perspective during the time of your transformation okay the last card i've got okay oh i don't like when this happens to so the cards i get a bit overwhelmed and a bit excited so let's just actually, let's just get a little shuffle right let's do this Next card we've got. I'm hearing as well, where do you want to go? Somebody's going to be asking you. It's like they're coming with an offer. Somebody wants to ask you, where do you want to go? There's the message. Page of one. Someone's got enthusiasm that's coming your way. Um, very vibrant, fiery energy. All about taking action. And I feel that this person, although they may be younger than you, or there could be somebody who's got like a young spirit, a young soul, they're very much full of full of life. As I said, you've got the eight of ones coming through, but I do feel um, that it, it, there's a delay. The reason why there's a delay in this message is because the hanged man is here. Um, and I feel that you've still got a little bit more inner work to do before this message can actually reach you. Let me have a look and see what's going on with the star card, the death let me get these cards sorted. Hold on, guys. So the star card spirit, what can you tell me about the star card? I'm going to pull the top. And we've got the Queen of Wands energy in reverse. So I do feel that there has been some form of person around you that is giving you grief. This Queen of Wands. Um, and I feel that this is hopeful energy that you're trying to... Um, but also the fact that this could be you trying to aspire to becoming into the Queen of Wands energy. But I feel that this is somebody that is going to be that has been around you trying to give you grief. But the death card is there to block them out. OK, um, they can be very well wanting to seduce you back into some form of relationship with them. They wanted to tie you down. They wanted to keep you captive. The death card. Oh, God, sorry, guys, these. These cards today are just been a bit. Spirit, please might have the cards that I need, please. Okay, so the death card. And the rebirth. Why is that here? So the card that is needed is the five of pentacles. So you're putting an end to poverty. You're putting an end to being poverty conscious. You're putting an end to being left out in the cold because it's always been you left out. Nobody else. You know that you know that kind of energy that where they and I do feel that this Queen of Wands only wants you when they need money. Okay, they don't need you for anything else. They don't want you for anything else. They just need money from you, but they don't want you. Okay, so with the Eight of Swords in reverse, this is illumination. This is really about this epiphany that you've been sensing. We've got the Nine of Pentacles, so you know what that means. You're coming out from that situation. You've had to just do you. Focus on your vibes. Focus on your coins. The seven of wands is about blotting people out. If they don't like it, hey, it's too bad. Get the hell out, okay? So let's see what's going on with the seven of wands. Spirit, what's going on here with this? You also have this dismissive kind of energy as well. I'm picking up the seven of wands because you're not interested. 
You're focusing on becoming a hermit. You're focusing on becoming more enlightened and more knowledgeable and gaining more wisdom. This not is not you right now, but you're working on this. You need that time to step into your hermit mode, your hermit energy as well. Very much dark night of the soul. Um, the hanged man. What is it that you've noticed now? What, what has come into your attention? The fact is, is that you need to be putting more work into yourself. Don't worry about people who don't have time for you. Worry about the people that do. And all, most importantly, it's about yourself. Now, if the page of wands, what's this deal? What is the deal with this, this person? Because this is not you. This is a page of wands. Very enthusiastic. They've got a lot to offer in a sense of words and actions. But let's see if there's anything else underneath this. We've got the lovers and we've got the... Mm-hmm. This is why. So I do feel that with this, they want to offer you a partnership that can actually start to manifest and grow. I do feel that this is not really coming to you just yet, um, guys, because you are needing to focus the energies on the Nine of Pentacles and then the Hermit mode as well. Also, the fact is that you've got the Eight of Pentacles here. So you are definitely working on your coins. Um, and I do feel that it's perfectly matched. But right now... You need to be making sure that whatever connections that you've got with people or in particular with this um, page of wands, that it's going to be solid. It's going to be um, really successful and secured so that you can start to build your building, bo building blocks. OK, you're not going to allow anybody to sort of get in the way. OK, the next thing we've got is the two of cups in reverse. So I do feel that you're leaving one situation and I do feel it's this queen of wands energy that's got the um the star card next to it and i do feel that you've been hoping and wishing to end this this is what i see going on here because as i said to you it's like they always want you for money but they don't they always need you for money but they don't want you and you need to be definitely coming out from this two of cups energy somebody that is fresh new knows what they want know who you are they're going to be coming at you with something amazing guys this is what i've got this is really lovely um, real solid, strong vibes here. Um, you know what to do. You're locked and loaded. So serendipity has certainly played its part in, in, in saving you in many ways, in more ways than you actually think. So I feel that you need to definitely pay gratitude towards the universe and st keep it humble and definitely keep yourself grounded as well. Hence, that's why I said to you to focus on your heart chakra and your root chakra as above so below because the energy that you're going to be emitting and receiving is vitally important to your spiritual growth okay guys so thank you so much for watching this reading i will be back with another one for you tomorrow take care guys peace